Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, left things off after coming up with some, uh, rather haphazard plans to conclude our glorious campaign. Obviously, the only right way to end this campaign is to finally take over the Holy Roman Empire. Sir, I'm coming for everything you own, including your life. Eventually. Possibly? Hopefully. Well, we'll see. Wait, am I not on this list? Okay, I don't see myself there. I guess I'm not a claimant? Right, that is... That is unfortunate. Um... And I can't even vote, can I? Not even a candidate. How's this guy a candidate over me? That's insane. Well, I guess he's part of the Salian house, but still. Um... And I still can't vote. Despite owning both... Well, I mean, I don't own... Ostfallen anymore, but when I did, still didn't get a vote. I'm assuming it's because... Is it male only? Is that why? Or is it because I'm not Catholic? Maybe a combination of the two. Unbelievable. Alright, um... Then we might need to readjust our strategy. I may need to get Meritocracy. And that is a hostile scheme that I can... That allows a character to gain a claim against the Direct Liege's primary title. Okay, so I still need to um, press my claim and win the war. Right. Wait, so do I actually need to declare war against them? That is... Oh, wait. If I can get a claim, then maybe I can vote myself on... Ah! I was hoping I could actually engage in... Um, election uh, manipulation to be able to get into the throne there. So maybe that'll still work. Well, we'll see, I guess. In the meantime, um, I'm thinking maybe something that we can work towards is getting the rest of Germany here. Yeah. I would like to start off by taking East Franconia. Except I don't know which one of these is East Franconia. Um, could they not have at least put a name on there? I don't want to click on anything and commit to it. Because I'm pretty sure once I click on it, I can't unclick, can I? I'm just going to take a wild stab in the dark and pray that it's East Franconia. Here we go. YOLO! Wow. That is incredible. I am genuinely impressed by myself. Holy crap, holy. Um... Yeah, why not, right? Hmm, and then eventually we can maybe get him to um, convert or tell him to convert and then imprison him. Yeah, so we can get this in 11 days. Gotcha. Um, then let me, I guess, accept it. Sure. Oh, wait. So if I close that, I don't really want to close it. Okay, um, if I open up another window, it doesn't actually dismiss this. Gotcha. All right, then. Sure. Why not? Thank you. And East Franconia, welcome to the team. I will obviously request that you convert and pray that you don't because I don't actually want you to convert. And then I guess what? Oh, I see. Well, 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 good, sir. Well, well, well. Alright, let's get all these guys to say no to my conversion request. Oh, tall guy over here. And you too, sir. Fantastic. Oh, did the other ones go away? Ugh, fine. Um... I'm not sure what we can do to help out uh, Hedvig, though. Because we're not allied with her. Yeah, and I can't really press your claim for that. Can I? Nope. Unbelievable. Okay, well, um, I think after we convert our Duchess here to Witchcraft, we'll go ahead and maybe do our Grand Right. In the meantime... Right. We don't need to worry about that right now. No, I guess there's not much else to do. Ooh. 
Wait, I thought it was 11 days, no? Okay, cool. Why not? Thank you. And is it now easier to imprison this guy? Although I think it was already at 100%. Ooh. Duchy of Gwynedd. So that's over here, yes? I see. Oh. Oh, right. We have to uh, recruit them, don't we? And how much would that be? A fair bit of money. Money that I'm not really willing to spend right now. Uh, I don't think so, dude. Same with you, chucklehead. Who are you? English. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I can't revoke your title or nothing, so... Sure, why not? Unless we could do a cheeky little uh, torture sesh before you go. You know what? Let's do it. Dang, nabbit. No, um... No, whatchamacallit? No, uh... No dark insights? Okay, so... We have just cause to imprison... I think just about everyone. Well, so far at least. Just need to wait for a couple more people, I think. Is that everyone? Why, I do believe it is. Fantastic. Is it easier to imprison them while they're not my uh, vassals, or is it easier if they are my vassals? I don't know if there is a difference. I don't think there is. Then you know what, let me just imprison the rest, and then I'll imprison them. Um, son of a bitch. You can only do one imprisonment at a time. Come on, man. Don't I have more guards than just one? No? Do we only have one guard uh, going around imprisoning people? Jeez, can we hire more? This guy's being overworked, clearly. At least give him a raise or something. Unbelievable. Apparently, we're just straight up refusing to uh, hire more uh, guards to help us out with the uh, imprisonment of uh, cantankerous uh, vassals and whatnot. There you go. Now we've taken everything you own. Congratulations, you dumb sack of shit. What? Protected title revocation? Unacceptable. Absolutely not. Aw, oh, man. That's stupid. What if I lower your levy contribution? Ooh, that could work. Sure. And now can I? Oh, perfect. All right, I'll take that. Thank you. Atta boy, and he's got a fair bit of dosh, so we can always... Wait, do I want to ransom him? He's my rival. Maybe not. Uh, what about you, sir? Yep. Didn't need that land, did you? No, you did not. Same with you, chucklehead. And then we have this guy. Oh, sorry. False, um... False hope there. Made it look like I was trying to uh, give him a title, and then BAM! On the last second, I just turned the uh, scroll around, and then it says uh, revoke instead. You dumb sacks of shit. And I now have a whole bunch of shit that I need to give away. Um... Okay, so... Do I want to do this on camera, or just do it off camera? Oh, we also need to attack this guy for the rest of it, don't we? And that's only 90 prestige. He's got four allies, though. Why the hell do you have so many allies? Stop going around marrying your children to other children. Unbelievable. Okay, um, then well, how don't, how don't I? Uh, why don't I take some time to figure out who is best suited to rule over East Franconia, and then I will come back after everything's been squared away. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm back after having fixed up East Franconia, so let's resume. I've installed this lady who's a little bit older and possibly incapable of having children, um, because I figured, well, I couldn't really find anyone with the content trait that I wanted to install in there, because they were unfortunately all, uh, married traditionally and all that jazz. I mean, I would show you, but what's the point? Anyways, um, I'm hoping that we can... Oh, we should actually replace our steward with someone else, shouldn't we? Yeah, and I guess I did the right thing by installing this 
stewardship lady in there. Sure. Fantastic. And yeah, you can just continue swaying the culture there. Not sure how that's going to pan out, but sure. In the meantime, I guess we're fine as is. Our archbishop is currently converting uh, Orlamon, wherever that is, I guess, right over here. Sure. And then afterwards, I guess we'd have to do Lobdeburg too. And also, well, basically everything that I personally own. Yeah, I suppose I've been kind of slacking in the uh, conversion there, haven't I? How come this isn't, uh, it's still Catholic here, I've noticed. All right, well, as long as they're not Catholic themselves, we should be good. And also, I need to get myself some new consort. Um, whoa. Now, we would get guaranteed scaly skin. But also... Oh, right. I was considering um, getting some albino dude to be my uh, my consort, right? Okay, so let's see if we can maybe find an albino dude who would be willing to come over and bend and spread whenever possible. Um, right. The same issue as before. Gotcha. And this guy's now married. Matrilineally? Interesting. Hmm. Maybe if we can get this guy to come along. That could work, possibly, but... Eh. I might need to just kidnap him at some point or something. We'll see. We'll see. In the meantime, I guess we'll just continue swaying the uh, good touches there. And maybe accepting more vassals as they... Oh, right. We also need to attack this guy for the remainder of our uh, duchy there. Unless we shouldn't for whatever reason. But I can't imagine why we wouldn't. Fairly cheap um, prestige cost. And there's no chance in hell that the uh, Legion Mine is going to uh, carve up Nordgau himself and then distribute it to me. Nope. So we got to take matters into our own hands, of course. Alright, so that's Nuremberg. Yes. And 90 prestige. Fantastic. Let's do this, sir. You and me, chucklehead. Oh, 6,000. And of course, I can also use Holy Order, which is kind of hilarious, not gonna lie. Whoa, 9,000 all by themselves. We don't even need the levy. I mean, we have a levy built in, but you know, still. All right, so either way, we're gonna be slightly over the supply limit. That's fine. We'll send the bigger stack to down there. Sure. And then we'll just have to... Dang it, can we catch up to him? What if instead of you... Oh. What if we get a... Excuse me? Any chance at all? Oh. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's better if we just stay there and siege. Hmm. Or we could try to uh, ambush them, I guess. But they seem to be acutely aware of my plans here. Which, gotta say, does not jazz me at all. But we're about to get fresh, so it's all good. As long as we win. And no one on our team dies. Well, I was... Maybe I should have also added that it would have been uh, better if we'd captured this guy, but I guess not. Attempted murder. While performing his duties as my spymaster, Count Humbert has uncovered a secret held by King Peter Bohemia. He was the man behind the failed murder attempt against Duke... Duke Viznada. Um, we already know that he's been up to no good shit. Yeah. Hasn't he already killed someone else? Yep. Or rather, he's attempted to murder a couple of people. That's hilarious. I can expose one of them, though. Oh, right. I, I really wish you would actually just say which um thing that you're about to expose. Like... Which one is this and which one is that? Now, I can tell that this one is most likely the, um, this one, I think? Or is it this one? No, it's this one, because we've used the hook on that one. Yeah, what the fuck? Anyways. Do we actually need to uh, defend ourselves against you? Heyo! Welcome to our uh, coven, good sister. Okay, so we will, of course, start converting you. Or maybe not. 
Ah, zealous. Okay, that is uh, how you say problematic. Hmm. And still, like, no chance to convert her, right? Yeah, that's gonna be difficult at best. Um, who else do we have that we can actually uh, convert to the witchy ways? To our wonderful witchy ways. You're too young still, I'm guessing. Yep. Mm, maybe you, Oldenburg? Uh, maybe it's not worth it. Um, either way, let's go ahead and host our grand right. Sure. And then I think maybe... Should we sway anyone? We might want... Oh, right, we should actually start swaying that uh, albino dude, I think. Yeah. Although, they don't necessarily have to be... Oh, it's out of our realm. But I just want to be able to uh, bring this guy in and then, you know, make him my um, consort so I can uh, pump and dump him constantly. Or is auto going to be easier? I can't, like, bring you in and then press your claim for something, can I? Sadly, I don't think so. Um, Fine, let's go for Carolee. Why not? Okay, so seduction is going to be quite difficult. I'm thinking maybe we start by swaying him, and then eventually we'll, uh, you know, get that going. An uninvited guest. As my fellow witches arrive in Gosler, I catch a glimpse of an unfamiliar face. When I go to greet my niece, Zeister. Oh, wait, did I convert you? Oh, okay, so I guess despite you being of a uh, different house, teaching is always in fashion, right? Um, you're still invited. I see. Hmm. The private affair. I don't know if I... Ooh. Actually, I would like the effect trait too. Maybe... Yeah, maybe not. Um... I don't know about Guest of Honor, but I'd say the more the merrier. Sure. Hopefully he doesn't turn out to be a maniac in a speedo and goes around murdering people, but we'll see. As the moon rises in the heavens, heralding his arrival. What is happening here? Are you having some more issues? Do you need some tissues for your issues? Oh, you unbelievable smeghead. Let me join your war, you dingus. Ugh, anyways. Um... Heralding his arrival, I can feel my body responding to the strange energy in the air. The silhouettes around the great bonfire are silent, unmoving, waiting for that which is to come. As the host of this gathering, it is up to me to begin the ritual. I will... Sorry. Read from an ancient grimoire. Uh, it's a learning challenge. Right. Play some tricks with sounds and shadows, which is an intrigue challenge. Rely on my charisma and improvise. Oh, I mean, they're not bad, but... Or present a grand offering. No, nope, I will uh, do some magic tricks. Did it work? The blessings of the Horn God are many, and among them is knowing when to apply a little trickery. Uh, wait, so did it work? Oh, okay, I guess my magic trick uh, impressed her. Great. With the help of some mirrors, horns, and willing assistance, I put on a spectacular... Sh oh, it's the uh, conclusion of that. Gotcha. The air is thick and with the thrilling mix of fear and excitement. Um... Fear-excrement, or fear-excrement. It's kind of like um, fear-excrement, but uh, it's it's different. Where you're, where you're pooping because you're so excited, rather than pooping because you're scared. I can't remember the last time I felt this alive. Now that I, now that the main ceremony is finished, my guests and I are free to worship it as it pleases us. Ask Zeister to instruct me in the art of poetry. Oh, it's a learning lifestyle. Share his carnal gifts with someone. Spend time with a charming herbird. Right. Hmm. So 41 chance of him becoming my friend and also joining my court. Or laugh, drink, and dance. I think the obviously very strong way to go here is the learning lifestyle perk. Because, uh, feckin' dudes come and go, right? Yeah. Let's not worry about that too much. Although, 
I wouldn't mind if we can maybe... Hmm... No, not a good idea. All right, I'll take the uh, learning perk, thanks. Let's go for... I think maybe open-minded is kind of what we should uh, try to stri strive for. Yeah, otherwise... Scholarly circles, learn of the job, that kind of stuff. Yeah, the scholar tree is fairly powerful, I would say. So let's go for pedagogy, sure. And, right, we need to focus on this war now. Gotcha, what is this? My guests and I have worshipped the horn horned god, exchanged sacred knowledge, and uh, tied deep bonds. My mind is buzzing with new ideas, but my body is in desperate need of rest. A warm bed has never felt so tempting. Fantastic. Grand right successful. Um, you're at war with... Ah... Uh... I see. Okay, um, so she's got a claim on that. Sure. Okay, thanks, William. He went into debt to support me there? Whoa, that's real nice of him. Completely unnecessary, but uh, real nice of him, sure. And this is taking a little bit longer than I'd expected. Not gonna lie. Um, especially with our siege leader in there. Do I need to respond to that? We may need to, depending on whether or not we can actually capture anyone important. Uh, not so much, I would say. Yeah. The scandal. My niece Oda has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone thought that her husband, Ronan, was the father of the child, and that has become clear that the real father-to-be is none other than... Oh, I see. So that's the kind of relationship that you guys have. Well, well, well. I didn't realize that uh, I was supporting that, but sure. You know what? More power to you, niece. However, less power to the other guy. Because how dare he commit that sin of sleeping with a um, with a lady, uh, you know, outside of marriage. Unbelievable. When my niece does it, though, it's uh, cute as fuck. Or it's something, I don't know. Sounds weird seeing it that way, I guess, but sure. All right, let's go ahead and convert um, Hassel, sure. And you guys can maybe move down to there. Oh, oh, Hedvig, nice. But you already love me, so yeah, not much to really do there, I guess. Oh, should we actually put a um, press on our claim or something and then take it up for ourselves? Because that's only 150 um, renown, which is not that much. You know what? We might as well do this before it gets lost, right? Yeah. What about Pomerania? Uh, that'll have to come later, I think. Sure. Unless there's something I can do? No, I don't think there is. I think we might have to uh, just wait for her to um, extend an olive branch or something then. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah. And I think until we get a strong hook on our Pope, most likely not going to happen. So even if I were to somehow convert our liege to uh, Lamashtin, I don't think that's going to work out in terms of um, getting a claim on that title. So let me put a request now while our dynasty still owns it. Eh, she's a little upset, but not too upset. And of course, we can now attack her for it, I'm guessing. Not Pomerani though. Not yet anyways. Okay, let's see if we can maybe conclude this war before we can before we end the episode, please. Um I'm really hoping Oh, there we go. That's actually more than enough, so Yeah. Let's see. Unless we wanna maybe capture some of these dudes. You're not leading troops though, are you? No, but it's still possible to capture you, I guess. Hmm. But nah, it's fine. Thank you. Great. Wait, what? Aren't you my- Oh! Oh, did you just get automatically inserted into that? Oh, I see. Um... You look like a gremlin. You look weirder than I do. What the fuck is up with this guy's head? Why does he have such a weirdly shaped head? 
My goodness. Not that I'm judging anyone who's got a weirdly shaped head, it's just... It's particularly weird. Grand Vassal, which one? Ulm. Which is now actually connected to us. Ooh. Uh, part of the Duchy of Swabia. Who owns Corinthia? Ah, Corinthia does. Uh, not sure how we would be able to get that back from them. But you know what? I will accept Ulm. All right, sir. Would you like to convert? Please say no. Yeah, you dumb bitch. You done goofed. You done goofed. Please don't resist. There you go. Oh, he's got two. Oh, he's got two counties. All right, sure. I guess I might as well uh, take both. Fantastic. And then he's my rival, so I most likely won't be letting him off the hook. Not yet anyways. All right, since it's only a couple of counties, actually, hold on. Ah, shoot. I forgot to uh, do these guys, too. Crap all over it. My bad. Um... Yep, that was a mistake. That was quite unfortunate. Missed a pretty great opportunity to uh, get some extra dosh here. Dang, nabbit. Ugh, fine. Very unfortunate. Unless maybe someone, everyone in the uh, duchy, entire duchy just spontaneously explodes or dies. Yeah, not sure that's going to happen though. Damn it. Oh well, that's okay. Um, it's not that big of a deal anyways. Sure, just a bit of money. Extra pocket change, really. At least that's my justification for my uh, forgetfulness there. That's right, you dumb fucks. Give me everything you got. What? Scandalous priest? Archbishop? Ah, oh, because you're sadistic? Unbelievable. Um, condemn her for her transgressions. Defend her uh, character publicly. Uh, it's not a ton of prestige and piety. And either way, we're gaining stress. Um, you know what? Sure. I guess we'll defend your character publicly. Why not? You know, at the very least, um, us goblins should try to uh, stick together. Or something, I don't know. Okay, so who here wants to get, uh, not only just their shit revoked, but also... Oh, we're still waiting for this guy. There we go. Thank you for making me wait. Rival? Dang, nabbit. Stop being my rival. And maybe, just maybe, you'll see the light of day. Nope. Not happening. Well, thankfully, we don't really need, need the money, so... Yeah, I'm okay to just keep these guys in my dungeons. Um... You know, except for maybe her. Sure, I can ransom you. Uh, anyone got any money and is not my rival? Nope, I think they're all my rival. Wow. One look at me, and they're like, they fucking hate my guts. Holy shit. Who? Earl Simon of Hertfordshire. Or of Hertfordshire, sorry. Uh, sure, I guess. Hendrik? Hmm... Okay, well, that's fine then. If you would like to grant me Augsburg as a vassal as well. Oh, no, that's part of Bavaria. I see. So we need to start going into this, which is oof, going to be quite a mess, I think. Um, all right. What about Corinthia, though? Oh, also, I'll um, give these counties away in between episodes. After I granted the uh, low title, of course. There you go. Mm. So, Sfabia. Oh, my Duke. Oh, my uh, Liege actually has it himself. Interesting. He owns uh, these two counties? I see. Well, then that is. Very unfortunate. I'm not sure if there's a way for me to uh, just take him from him or ask him to uh, give it to me. 
but I'm guessing not. Hmm. And also, what happened with the Independence faction? I'm assuming they're... Oh, whoa! Hungary's independent now. Oh, wow. Interesting. So it went through, and so is Tuscany. Ah, good for you guys, I guess. Sure. And what's happening in uh, Nordgau here still? Still some more issues? All right, well, I'll let you sort out your own tissues and um, issues and all that jazz. Yeah, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow, and in between episodes, I will give these two counties away. And then, um, so I don't know if we'll be able to conclude this campaign in um, by episode 42. But with our plans having now shifted from, you know, simply just doing uh, election fraud stuff or election manipulation to um, now having to do a an extra step of getting a meritocracy and also claiming the throne. So a couple of extra steps, I guess. But hopefully that all, uh, that all works out despite all the challenges that we've had um, becoming a claimant and all, and all that stuff, if that makes any sense. Yeah, we'll see, I guess. All right, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.